What on earth is wrong with these woke revolutionary teachers? It is absolutely crazy right now. It's like the mask is off. The mask is off because this thing, this white supremacist thing that these people, these woke revolutionary teachers are claiming to fight against, it seems like they themselves are the real white supremacists. As a teacher from Montgomery County in Virginia came out to literally say, positive behaviors in class like sitting listening and excuse me like sitting listening and you know following instructions from your teachers in class enforcing that is a feature of white supremacists because those behaviors are elements of white culture uh-huh you can imagine take a look for yourself i think a lot of people have um and i want to call that in uh lovingly just for a moment Yes, America contains many cultures and many races. That is not wrong. Um, however, um, the problem comes when we don't think about this idea or this argument in a uh, racialized way when it comes to power and power dynamics. In America, as in many other parts of the Western world, whiteness is the dominant racial ideology. So when we think of power in terms of race, whiteness has the most power. So while there are people of many different races and cultures living in America, the fact that whiteness is the dominant racialized power structure, um, that is the problem and that is why we have to involve race in all of our arguments and considerations. I'm in on one of Miss April's recent videos about PBIS in which I stated that PBIS is white supremacy with the hug. And a lot of y'all wanted to know more about that. So here we go. First of all, thank you to Jack Copa who um, reminded me that um, Dina Simmons was the first to coin this term. So thank you, Jack, so much. So if PBIS concerns itself with positive behaviors, um, we have to ask ourselves, okay, well, what are those positive behaviors? And it's things like making sure that you're following directions and making sure that you're sitting quietly and you are in your seat and all these things that come from white culture. The idea of just sitting quiet and being told stuff and taking things in in a passive stance is not a thing that's in with many cultures. So if we're positively enforcing these behaviors, we are by extension positively enforcing elements of white culture, which therefore keeps whiteness at the center, which is the definition of white supremacy. Everything is the definition of white supremacists with this woke revolutionaries. That's white supremacists. This is white supremacists. They is white supremacists. Even a black man like Larry Elder is the black face of white supremacists. So guys, first of all, you can see that this guy is talking about a lot of critical race theory jibber jabber, that you need to look at everything through the lens of race. One of the things that that does to you when you keep on looking at everything through the lenses of race is that will make you a racist without you even knowing that you have become a racist because everything would be happening and you would be judging every single thing in your life through the lens of race if something is happening to me you see me maybe you just judge because you think naturally because i'm black i might be having a harder life than you meanwhile i'm having a great life and you don't know but if you're judging people by the lenses of race you're going to make that assumption and that's what they're teaching people but that aside that was the first part of what he was talking about and trying to explain this whiteness of a thing which I really don't get because first they say whiteness is a culture. Then they say whiteness is something about white privilege. And then they say whiteness is this pixie dust that gives white people all these advantages in the world. Make up your mind what whiteness is because I have no clue what it is. And I don't think if you try to find out what this meaning is on Wikipedia or anything that will make sense of whatever it is they described it as. But anyway, moving on. When you take a good listen to what he said, he said, that these things, these positive attributes, this positive behavior, these positive characteristics, like sitting down in class, listening to your teachers, right? And following instructions so that you can understand, practice things and do better. I'm just now paraphrasing, adding to whatever he said, is a uh, feature of white culture, right? And because of that, white culture has been centered in education. So you want to tell me that sitting down and listening just like they told us that being polite is a feature of white supremacist. If being polite is a white feature of white supremacist and also sitting down and listening and following instruction is a feature of white supremacist, how come this guy 
if those things don't sit well with other cultures, cultures like mine, how come he hasn't been able to tell us what would sit well with all those other cultures? People need to understand that those things, those characteristics, they come in binary formats. They are either positive or they are negative. Something else that these people have categorized as white supremacists as well. Just like they did with maths. Because in maths, you either get a right or a wrong answer. So the either or situation of mathematics have been deemed as well as, you guessed it, white supremacists. So now, why all this? Right? Because they don't have an answer when you say, okay, if being polite or sitting down in class and listening to teachers doesn't sit well with my culture, what should sit well with my culture? In what culture does that does does that not sit well with anybody? Because the opposite or the alternative of that would be for students to be unruly in class, for students to not listen to their teachers, for students to not sit still and be running around, jogging, wibbling, or absolute chaos in class which would mean students would not learn now this messaging in particular it's not for white people they are not sending these messages out to white people because to them white people don't need any help the people that need help are the BIPOC community for those of you who don't know that would be the black indigenous people of color those are the people they are talking to those are the people they are expecting to reject this positive reinforcement because it's of white supremacist i grew up in africa when our elders talk we sit and listen that's my culture i'm pretty sure that's the same culture when you go to asia when you go to polynesians when you go to ireland it's the same culture when people who know better than you are speaking you sit down and listen to learn listening is a prerequisite to learning so where is all this garbage coming from and why are they insisting on pushing this garbage? I don't know what level this teacher is teaching, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be far from the younger years when people are seriously malleable. And they would be teaching this to kids of color. I still don't know why that's not offensive, but this is what they will be teaching to little kids that are black, Hispanic, Asians, Polynesians, uh, Native Hawaiians, or Native Americans. They'll be teaching them to these little kids so that these little kids reject attributes, behaviors, and things that would lead them to success in any society. These behaviors, being polite, listening, understanding, these are part of communication. This is what set us aside from savages. This is what sets us apart from animals. But yet, they attribute this to only white people. Guess who else thinks like this? White supremacists. They are the only ones who think like this. They feel that everything superior in terms of positivity, belongs to white people and no one else. These people are trying to get a lot of people who are non-white to reject education so that they'll never make it in life, so that they are brain dead and they'll be malleable. When they're malleable, people can control them. They can come and tell them, the reason why you're not making it in life is not because you're not serious in class. It's because of systemic racism. Even though in this case, systemic racism is not the case. It's just the fact that somebody listened to some dumb teachers who told them that sitting and listening in class is a symbol or is a feature or is an element of white culture, thus an element of white supremacist, causing those students to reject it and fail. They'll fail in life. One state, I will not mention, has started to sign a bill, Bill 774, that allows graduate students uh, from high school who can't read and write not to prove that they can read and write or do math but get a diploma instead what would happen when that happens when this student gets this diploma they can't read or write or do maths and they go out looking for jobs and they can't get any job what do you think they'll do they'll blame it on systemic racism not the fact that they had dumb teachers like this guy who refused to teach them and tell them that it is because it is not a part of their culture I don't know where else or what else to say about this, but this is ludicrous, insane. And I do sincerely believe that this here is an attack on black indigenous people of color, if you want to call us that. It's a straightforward attack because this is what they're teaching little kids who they can, you know, manipulate to think this way. And kids will start growing up to reject certain things. You wouldn't even know why. They wouldn't even want to read in school. 
because they've been told it's not part of their culture to do so. So, at this point, I'm going to leave it at that. But I want to know what you guys think. You guys think, do you think this teacher actually has a point? That all these positive attributes are only attributes of whiteness and they are attributes of white culture. And if your culture, if these things, sitting and listening, being polite and all these things are not attributes of your own culture or does not sit well with you and you're not white, please let me know in that comment section below what sits well with you. And if it's positive, man, my next video, I will definitely raise my hands up that I was wrong and I will stand corrected. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to be catching you guys again real soon. Take care of yourself. Peace and sayas out of here. Don't let your kids, don't let your kids be deceived by these woke ideologists. And sayas out. Catch you guys on the next one. And that's white supremacist.